What's going on guys, it's JSGC here and we are here for Manchester City's loan report number 3. Now if you haven't seen loan reports 1 and 2, you can go and check them out on my channel now, they're already available. But in loan report 3 we're going to be looking and discussing the progress of Pablo Mathieu, Angelino, Jacob Davenport, Manu Garcia and Rodney Congolo. So we're going to get right on with the video and start up with Pablo Mathieu, one of Man City's most impressive low needs this season. Right back, 20 years old, Spanish under 21 international, and he's quite small, 5 foot 8 for a right back. He's gone to Girona on a season long loan and he's managed to feature himself as a substitute appearance player, a player that comes from the bench, and also a player that starts regularly for Girona's right back position. He's made 17 appearances at the moment this season, scoring no goals. He has been very, very impressive though for Girona. He's had experience going up against Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid. He's had experience going up toe-for-toe -to -toe with Lionel Messi too of Barcelona. Also players like Luis Suarez, Antoine Griezmann for Atletico Madrid. You see where I'm going with this? He's going up against world-class footballers and because he's going up against world-class footballers week after week, he's going to get better week after week. Which leads to a question What's the future hold for Pablo Mafia? What's he going to feature? How is he going to be an important player for Manchester City? And it means that Man City would either have to do one or two things. They'd either have to, you'd think, sell Danilo, which probably isn't going to happen, considering we brought him in last season, or they could move Danilo over to left-back, because I do know that Man City probably aren't going to sign a left-back in the coming transfer window, so they could move Danilo over to compete with Mendy, who's injured, obviously, at the moment, and we don't know how he's going to progressively go on in the future. And then we're also holding up with players like Zinchenko and Fabian Delft. So if maybe if Zinchenko moves forward and might see Delft go back into the midfield or maybe even leave, that would then hold a position for Mafio to be promoted to Man City's rotated squad. Now... He's a player, in my opinion, that's getting better and better because he's playing week after week. So, in my opinion, a loan would probably suit him well. Would we do a sideways step and leave him at Girona for another season where he's doing what he's doing? Is he going to get any better doing that? Or could we test him in England? I'd love to see a couple of our younger players go to big teams in England. You know, big, large championship teams, teams like Aston Villa, Leeds United, or even into the lower down bits of the Premier Leagues of teams like Newcastle United, for example, and teams like that. Could we not loan them there and see how they feature and do in England? Because if they do very well then, then you know that they are good enough for the Premier League and be able to then compete at least for a rotated option at Man City. So we'll have to keep an eye on Pablo Mafio, but one of Man City's more impressive players this season. He's done very well, and I'm interested to see, could we see Mafio in pre-season? Could we see him at Man City next season? Is a possibility. Next up, we're going to look at Angelino. He's five foot seven, a left back like Mafio, similar stature. He's a Spanish under 17 international. He's now 21 years old, however. He's been on a season long loan at NAC Breda. He's made 22 appearances, scoring two goals. He's had a very good loan spell in the Netherlands this season. I don't really think that he's good enough for Man City. He's obviously a year older, a year more experienced than what Mafio is, and I think that the future for Angelino would probably be away from Man Manchester City. Now, I'm thinking that we could loan him out next season, give him a proper test, see how good he is. Matt Maybell be sending him to Spain, we could see him head over to Girona, we could leave him at Breda, we could also send him elsewhere in Europe, we could see him in England too. What his level is, I'm really not sure though, so that would be interesting if Man City decide to do that. And another option is possibly to sell him. We're in association with Girona, with Breda, could we not sell them a couple of players, they start to benefit from that. Then they know that they're not just loan players that they're going to have till the end of the season and they're not going to see them again, they know they're going to have them permanently. And that progresses their career too, as well as helping out Breda and Girona. So that would be an interesting one. Angelino is something we could consider. If he wants to be loaned out again, leave in the comments where you think that he could be loaned out too. Would a championship move be good for him? Where in the championship would be good for him? Obviously Pep doesn't like the style of football in England. He likes for them to head abroad to teams in Spain, to teams in the Netherlands, to see how they progress there and play the passing attacking style of football that he likes rather than the traditional hoof ball chase and runs tactics that you often see in the championship speaking of the championship that moves us nicely on to Jacob Davenport midfielder loaned to Burton Albion 
in January. He played defensive midfielder too, but he basically sits in that hole in the midfield. Now, he's had a good low move, eight appearances at the moment, scoring one goal. He's playing every single game now for Burton Albion. He's improved Burton's style of play, and Burton Albion fans have even said that it's nice to see a player be able to pass the ball and do it well, not just hoofing it up. So it gives them another option. Whilst Burton are struggling in the championship, that doesn't mean he's not a good player though, and Burton Albion fans have even said that you could see that he's like a standard above even for their team. So maybe we could see him on another low move next season. He's an England player, an English player, so he's 19 years old. He's got more to offer to English football. Could we see him move to Girona or Breda again? It's getting a bit boring seeing them all going to Breda and Girona, isn't it? Could we see him move to another championship club? Could we see him at clubs in the North West? Could we see him at clubs uh, over in Yorkshire that aren't too far away for him, so it's not unsettling for him? Could we see him move there? Obviously, a loan move for Angus Guns worked wonders for him in the championship. Could it be the same and the making of Jacob Davenport? One to keep an eye out for, but an impressive loan move for him this season. And if Burton Albion are relegated, I'm not too sure a loan move to Burton Albion in League One will be a step forward in his career. Has to be another championship side. Could we see a move to a club like Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds United, Preston North End, possibly? That'd be interesting to see. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to him in the summer. Now, another midfielder, this time a bit further forward into the attacking role, is Manu Garcia, Spanish under-19 international. He's gone on a season-long loan to NAC Breda as well. He's been outstanding too, making 22 appearances, scoring one goal. And I'm worried, is he going to feature for Man City ever? Are we ever going to see him at Man City? And the answer to that is probably no. So... What what can we do with all these youngsters that we're producing? They're all quality players. They're just not at the standard to be competing with a team that's going to be challenging for the Premier League year after year and Champions League football year after year. Doesn't mean these players can't get to that standard eventually. It's just all about patience. Man City don't really have the time to be able to do this, so we could see them move elsewhere on loan or even permanently. And again, he's just like Angelino. Could we see him move permanently for the sake of his career and end up benefiting him? He's had a good loan period in Breda, just like Angelino. Will we see permanent moves for Angelino and Garcia to Breda permanently? That is certainly a possibility. We could see them loaned elsewhere. I'm not too sure Manu Garcia would really suit English-style football, unlike the traditional midfielders like Davenport would really suit it. I think Mafia would really suit English football with defending. Manu Garcia is a little bit more like a tricky player. He's like a more a skillful version of what Patrick Roberts can be, and I think that Manu Garcia would probably suit European football elsewhere. So maybe a loan move to somewhere in Spain, or maybe even a loan move to somewhere in France or Italy, somewhere like that. Or a permanent move. A permanent move would be good, and just because they haven't made it at Man City doesn't mean that they've been a failure. They could easily come back to Man City. Could we put a buyback clause on these players if they turn out to be outstanding? We don't want to be able to uh, end up in a situation like Manchester United did with Paul Pogba where they end up not putting it there and end up paying £90 million pounds out for a player who they could have maybe put a £40 or £50 million pound release clause on. Man City have done that with Ihenaccio, so could we see it with more young players? We will have to wait and see. And last but not least, it takes us on to Rodney Congolo, Netherlands under-20 international midfielder, 28 appearances, scoring zero gold. He's had a good low move though for Congolo, so uh, it's been interesting to see what happens for him and what will be up next. Again, he's just like all the other midfield, uh, all the other players at Man City. Are we going to see them go here, there or everywhere? Are we going to see them end up going to um, another low move? Are we end up going to see them end up going elsewhere in Europe? We're going to see them at Breda, we're going to see them at Girona, we're going to see them here or there. Or everywhere, it'd be interesting to see. But at the moment, he's been on loan in England, so he's been playing for Doncaster Rovers in League One. He's made 28 appearances, scoring zero goals, like I mentioned. So it'd be interesting to see, will he make the next step up? Will he go to Championship? Will he go to high-end League One? Is that his standard? Could he get better? These are questions that will probably be answered. We'll have our answer in one or two years when these players all of a sudden start being 19 and 20, end up being 20, 21, 22, getting into their peak of their careers, and all of a sudden they've got to kick on with their careers. So it'll be interesting to see if we see a few permanent transfers, some buyback clauses, some more loan moves. 
Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments. But this, that's been the video. We've got one more loan report coming out discussing more players like Patrick Roberts and others. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe with your notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my social media. The links to them are in the description below. And also don't forget to check out my second channel and my brother's partner channel doing mixology drinks, which sometimes I feature in. You can check them out. Them will pop up at the end of the video. You can click there, like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. We're aiming for 400 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that soon. And I'll see you as all later. It's been JSGZ. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.